A community remains in shock tonight as new details emerge about the death of Everett Police Officer Dan Rocha. We are learning more about the man suspected of killing Officer Rocha and a look at how people are coming together to remember a hero. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the News at 10. I'm Hannah Kim. We start our coverage tonight in Everett where Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman has spent the day learning about Officer Rocha, who was not only an officer but a husband and father. Alejandra. Hannah, out here you can see the outpouring of support for the Everett Police Department and Officer Dan Rocha's family, friends and loved ones. Hundreds have come out here to pay their respects for the fallen hero. Out here at the North Precinct, flags have been lowered to have staff and each person who has made it out here bringing him a gift in his tribute and honor is sharing a memory about the man behind the badge. Officer Rocha will forever leave a void in our agency, in our community. A somber evening as the Everett Police Department is faced with the tragic loss, the death of one of their own, Officer Dan Rocha. We as a department are hurting and I think as a community, we're all hurting. Two deputies and in one week is, is sickening. It's maddening, it needs to end. The sound of the crosswalk echoes as hundreds of community members stop to honor the fallen officer. The ultimate sacrifice, much respect. Polly Grenier, like many families, came with her five-year-old daughter in hand to pay tribute to Officer Rocha. His patrol car now filled with flowers, teddy bears, cards, and countless heartfelt messages from his community. This is one of the two growing memorials for the fallen hero. Flags, flowers, and candles have been placed outside the Starbucks on Broadway, where the officer lost his life serving and protecting his community. We had Morrison, our construction team. They Actually, they did a tremendous job because they responded first. And in fact, I was told that one of the crew members tried to resuscitate the officer. Help Officer Rojan needed after he was shot and killed by a 50-year-old man Friday afternoon who was involved in, quote, suspicious activity, according to officials. As a man tried to leave the scene of the crime, he ran over Rocha, leading authorities on a chase. His arrest came shortly after he crashed his Mini Cooper into two other cars at the intersection of 35th and Rucker. He made the necessary sacrifice that really impeded on any additional harm coming to others. And so we really uh, appreciate what he's done for us. We know it's a risk that we face, every one of us faces when we put on this uniform and we put on the badge. Um, but you can never be prepared for it, never. Officer Rocha was killed in a community he had deep roots in. He quickly gained the respect and admiration of his fellow officers and of the community he so faithfully served. The 41-year-old leaves behind two sons and a wife of 15 years. The city of Everett and residents across Washington now honoring Officer Rocha's legacy. He loved what he did. He loved what he did. and. Um, and he's going to just truly be missed. Officer Rocha's remains have since been escorted back to the medical examiner's office. At this time, the Snohomish County multi-agency response team continues their investigation and a procession is still in the works. But out here tonight, I can tell you that Officer Dan Rocha's loss is deeply felt. In Everett, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News. Thank you, Alejandra.